I get that work for the Lolo. I get that work for the Lolo. I'm on a journey like Frodo. She wanna purchase some cocoa. I get that work. Good morning, guys. This is Cormontes Coliseum here. I'm about to react to a little teaser of Marvel Studios Thor Love and Thunder. It's called Get Tickets Now. Get Tickets Now. <laughs> So we're gonna see if there well there should be new scenes, new little pieces of footage in here. Um I'm so so excited for this. Very only I'm only reason I'm ultraly excited is because my boy Christian Bale is in here, aka Batman, aka American Psycho, aka um, a chameleon of an actor. Uh and I also love, you know, Chris Hemsworth Thor. I just wish that they took a different approach with his character and how they portrayed Thor, but it is what it is. I, I, I'm I'm gonna hold my tongue when it comes to Thor's fran movie franchise and his whole chronicle saga story the way it was told, but it is what it is. I, I enjoyed it still somewhat, but I'm just hoping that this movie uh, hits it out of the park and it fulfills his character arc and fulfills his destiny to a point where you know I can I can be at peace with how his arc ends because I'm guessing. Dude, I would be surprised if he does another Thor movie after this. I'm I'm thinking that after this, Chris Hemsworth, uh, Chris Hemsworth is going to sign off from playing this character. But, dude, like I said, if he plays more, I'll be highly surprised. But I think this is his last, like, this is his, uh, this is his calling curtain, man, that, for this character. So, I mean, I hope it's a good send-off, and I hope this, and I know this movie's going to be great. I don't think Christian Bale's going to sign off to a trash movie. I, I don't know, especially uh, especially Marvel wise. This is the first time Christian Bale has stepped foot in Marvel, so this is I don't see this being a um, a flop, dude, not at all. But let's get into this reaction and see what this uh, little teaser has to bring for us. Thor: Love and Thunder. Get tickets now. There's a maniac who seeks to end us all. We must do something. <laughs> I'm putting together the greatest team ever. Cole. He's my best friend. Yes. Valkyrie. We get to fight again. <laughs> the Guardians. Give me those. And Jane. <laughs> Give me those. Girlfriend. Judy Foster. Jane Foster. <laughs> Jody Foster. You are not like the other gods of kill. <laughs> Whoa. Run that back. Now. What did they freaking. Did you guys see that? We must do something. I'm putting together the greatest team ever. Cole. He's my best friend. Yes. <laughs> He's my best friend. <laughs> the Guardians. Give me those. And Jane. Hey, <laughs> give me those. <laughs> Judy Foster. Jane Foster. Jane Foster. <laughs> you are not like the other gods of kill. <laughs> Whoa, what was that, bro? Tickets on sale now. There's a maniac who seeks One more time. That was fly. I like that. I'm putting together the greatest team ever. Cole. So every time uh, Gore and when Gore fights somebody, it's like and Jane, the old ex girlfriend, Judy Foster, Jane Foster. You are not like the other. It's like they're changing the atmosphere around them. <laughs> what the freak? Thor: Love and Thunder. Ready PG-13. Tickets on sale now. Buy tickets now. Wait, hold on. Get your tickets now. All right, guys. That is the reaction for that. There was a, a, a few clips of new footage there and, you know, a few new lines here and there and there. But, yeah, man. Um, Guys, what do you think about this movie? I already know what you think. You're excited for this movie probably and you're going to go see it day one. All that I can hope for is that this movie doesn't uh, disappoint. I'll be honest with you. Uh, because a lot of things Marvel... Dude, the only thing I've thoroughly enjoyed from Marvel lately is Shang-Chi. <sighs> See, it's sad that I have to think. I just, I'm just scared for Phase 4. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't see Phase 4 touching classic Marvel when it first began. It's, that's... That's a hard, that's a hard knock life right there, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed Shang-Chi. I somewhat enjoyed Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. That script could have been better, and the logic in there could have been better, but it is what it is. And that wasn't even mainly a Doctor Strange movie. That was like, that should have been, that should have been Scarlet and Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Real talk, bro. Um, still thinking, man.
What else came out? And of course, I love you know I loved Moon Knight even though the last episode was kind of trash. I still haven't even watched Hawkeye. Guys, let me know should I watch Hawkeye? I just haven't. I just didn't care to even dabble in Hawkeye. And should I watch Miss Marvel? I bro. <sighs> Guys, give me strength. Let me know in the comment section if I should watch Hawkeye and uh, Miss Marvel. Get on that. Let me know if it's it's good so far, dude. Because I'm just tired with... I'm not saying it's an agenda, bro, but what the freak, dude. Y'all realize how the new Avengers is going to look, right? Like, bro, it's going to be what? Falcon? Hopefully, Winter Soldier. Uh, hope, I, I mean, I, I'm guessing it's, uh, Tom Holland's still going to be Spider-Man. So, I guess Winter Soldier, Falcon, Spider-Man, Shang-Chi, uh, uh, would I say Hulk or She-Hulk or, you know, I'm gonna watch She-Hulk for sure, even though they crap on the Hulk so many times, I'm just gonna give it a go and see what, see if I'm gonna enjoy it, just watch it. So, y'all let me know in the comment section, should I watch freaking the first episode of Miss Marvel and should I watch a uh, Hawkeye? Just, I, I just, I don't know, guys, it's just... Marvel lately is, is, they, Marvel hit, hits, Marvel will hit and then drop the ball most of the time and then come up with the hit and then you're like, what the freak are you doing? I don't know, bro. Marvel just isn't what it used to be. I'm, I'm hoping to God that we can have a resurgence of, of uh, thorough, good Marvel storytelling with each movie. It's like, bro, what the freak? I kind of like the Eternals, but that could have been good and better as well. Way better. If they would have done Eternals really more properly and more, like, uh, better scripted, uh, a little bit more of an enticing story, that could have been a fire movie. The The CGI and the visuals were there with the Eternals, but, bro, it was just, like, what, what do we, you know? I still kind of enjoyed it, but it just could have been better. I, I, come on, Marvel. Y'all y'all know what to do, man. Please, let's get on the ball. But this movie right here, it looks like it's gonna be enjoyable. Like I said, I third, I I somewhat enjoyed Ragnarok. I was indifferent to it because I know Ragnarok is supposed to be a more serious story, so it just threw me for a loop when it was like just straight up all comedy. And I'm like, damn, this is like the end of Ra Asgard, you know? And you wouldn't think it'd be this much comedy in here, but a lot of people loved it. So we all have our own opinions, but yeah, guys, that's my reaction to this teaser right here. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're a fellow spectator already, subscribe to the channel. I want to say thank you so much. I treat you like you're my own. I love you, man. Your family. Let's talk in this comment section about this movie. And hit uh, hit me up on social. Uh, anything anything else you want me to react to. Anything you want to say, discuss. Even if you want to uh, curse me out, I enjoy it. Let's go, man. <laughs> We're all indifferent here. We're all humans. We all um have different minds. But either way, I love you all. It doesn't matter. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, man. Peace.